In 2021, Derrick Henry is considered the best running back in the league and one of the most dominant running backs of our era. Being a workhorse guy that gets 30 carries a game, it seems like, sometimes even 40, which that's happened on a few occasions, and having back-to-back seasons with 300-plus carries, and even last year having 2,000 yards and 17 touchdowns, and then in only eight games had over 900 yards and 10 touchdowns before breaking his foot or suffering a foot injury. But just a few years ago, there was serious concern if Derrick Henry would become this guy. He wasn't supposed to be that guy to break out and be the best running back in football. He was on the borderline of being cut. So the title of today's video is Derrick Henry was considerably almost a bust. So if we look back to his college numbers, his freshman year was really just a rotational back. His sophomore year was a red zone uh, threat, a guy that would just close the game out, averaging 5.8 yards per carry. But in his junior year in 2015, Derrick Henry exploded, having almost 400 carries for over 2,000 yards with 28 touchdowns and was one of the most physical or physically standing out uh, prospects in that 2016 draft. He was like the 2019 version of DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf didn't have the best stats, but his measurables and his combine boosted his draft stock. Derrick Henry... Talent-wise, was probably a first, second-round pick, but his his stature at 6'2", 245, he was a big running back who could just run people over. Now, the reason why he fell in the draft to the second round or 45th overall was they didn't know if he lacked agility. Uh, So they thought lack of speed, or with a guy that big, lack of speed, lack of agility, lack of vision, people would just thought he was going to be third-down running back, Close out the game like he was his first two years of his career at Alabama and a red zone guy, which isn't that bad of a prospect. If you can have a running back that you could take and use to close out a game and and consistently get three to four yards of carry, sure, that's great. But when you take a guy that high, you want more out of them. So a lot of teams weren't willing to take that risk in the first in the first round until the Titans. Uh, the Titans took Derrick Henry uh, 15th, and with the 15th pick in the second round and sat him behind DeMarco Murray. DeMarco Murray was just given a massive contract by the Eagles and then ends up going to the Titans for like a bounce back, you know, to kind of revenge his career. Um, and DeMarco Murray had a Pro Bowl year. So DeMar- DeMarco Murray was like the number one guy. Derrick Henry was number two, that third down guy, that red zone guy that end the game or close up the game type type guy. And he finished with four and a half yards of carry with 490 yards and five touchdowns. So pretty solid. And then 2017, again, behind DeMarco Murray, he put up 744 yards on five touchdowns with about 4.2 yards of carry and was somewhat involved in the passing game with 17 targets. But then a question was needed to be made. DeMarco Murray was kind of had a, a down year in 2017 and Derrick Henry showed a little bit of promise, and there was a decision to be made. There were rumors coming out that Derrick Henry could be cut or traded, and even several tweets. So I quote from August 20th, 2018, Titans running back Derrick Henry could be on thin ice this season, pretty much showing that this is a make-or-break year for him, and then reports after the 2017 season says that Derrick Henry could be moved, moved before the season starts or before the draft. Um, And after that tweet was made by Adam Schefter, uh, DeMarco Murray retired. So the Tennessee Titans were looking to either trade Derrick Henry or trade DeMarco Murray or cut one of the two. I don't think that Derrick Henry would have been cut, but I think they could have had a trade package um, for him. But I think uh, that the Titans were realistically going to trade DeMarco Murray or cut him before he retired. So it worked out in favor of Derrick Henry um, and the Titans because now Derrick Henry at age 24 can be this workhorse guy. But in uh, 2018, it didn't get off to a, go- uh, to a good start. It was very, very poor for him, not having a touchdown until week 7. But from weeks 1 to 12, he only had 474 yards, 5 touchdowns on 3.3 yards of carry. Derrick Henry was not very good at all. And if you watch like, some highlights, it's kind of like, well, this and that happened. Um... Uh, but it was poor. He was only averaging 3.3 yards a carry. Didn't have a touchdown until week seven. And it was towards 
den of a game and, and, and a considerably close game. But on December 6th, 2018, Derrick Henry's career changed forever. One safety in this half. Drive starts at the one and looking for a little breathing room and they get that and plenty more. Derrick Henry still going. Stays in bounds. He might go. 99 yards for the touchdown. Unbelievable. That game, Derrick Henry had 17 carries for 238 yards and four touchdowns. Then it became the Feed Derrick Henry Show. Going off for 33 carries, 170 yards, and two touchdowns the following week, and then continuously closing out the game with four yards a carry and then almost six. So from weeks 13 to 17, he had 585 yards, seven touchdowns on 6.7 yards per carry. An insane turnaround for Derrick Henry in the 2018 season, flipping the script on how he was viewed. And then in 2019, breaking out on 303 carries for 1,500 yards and 16 touchdowns. And then in 2020, obviously, his amazing season, putting together 378 carries, 2,027 yards, and 17 touchdowns, like I said earlier in the video. Um, and then in 2021, this year, before he got hurt, he was on pace to put up put up almost 2,000 yards again. Um, on, the, on the pace he was at four uh, four and a half yards a carry and uh, 117 yards per game, he would have been projected at right around 1,800 yards, which would be insane. Um, so DeMarco Murray really held back uh, when it came to carries, uh, Derrick Henry, he really didn't get fed until the end of 2018. So, like, if you look at uh, Derrick Henry's season stats, it's like, all right, he had 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. But, you know, 12 weeks in, 12, 13 weeks into the season, he was not very good. Um, and that game against Jacksonville and, and uh, on that primetime game literally changed Derrick Henry's career forever.